So, there was a collective no heard all around the world when A Quiet Place 2 was delayed. With Universal dropping high-profile films like Invisible Man and Trolls World Tour on video on demand, I thought maybe we'd see A Quiet Place from the comfort of our homes. Nope. It would have been nice though, especially since everybody is on lockdown, either playing video games, working from home, or being driven insane by loneliness or bored children. In the meantime, I got some Quiet Place content for you to snack on. In this video, we're gonna look at the first film and rank the scariest scenes. Feel free to share your scariest scene or the scene that affected you most. Let's get into it. I'm Purple Boy and you are tuning in to Purple Film. If you like this content, go ahead and drop a like on this video, click that subscribe button and smack that notification bell so you won't miss a new upload. By the time we've made it to this point in the film, Jim Halpert sacrificed himself by screaming, Michael! The children fended off a creature while also trying not to drown in a tank full of kernels. And Emily Blunt gave birth to a whole child during the worst possible time. She is a beast. And so we've made it to the final standoff in the basement. With the shotgun in hand, this mother was willing to do whatever it took. We've come to the end and I think there's a sign of a relief because they're not gonna kill off the whole family. Papa needed to be the only casualty so I think it's safe to say we all saw this coming. It was still tense as we sat there waiting for Reagan to realize yes, you can kill them with that. Hurry up. Girl, if you don't turn that thing up and kill this damn thing. My worst nightmare will look a little something like this. Being drowned in the movie theater snack I love the most over and over and over again. Yes, I get it. They're drowning in corn. And corn, popcorn, it's not really the same thing. But look, that's not the point. I think this scared me the most because there's just something terrifying about being buried alive. It's not like getting sliced in half in seconds. I mean, that's just quick and painless, I imagine. Being buried alive just seems slow and deliberate. Like, death was just extra angry at you for skipping you guys' dinner date. Dude, when he ran into this man, the first thing that came to my mind was out of all the people we could have ran into, we had to run into your ass. You got your wife lying there in a pool of her own blood. You probably killed her. Maybe she called your penis little. And you got mad. I guess being petty will get you messed up nine days. But it ain't got nothing to do with me, man. I think at the end of the day, humans will in some ways be scarier than otherworldly creatures. Humans are cruel and unpredictable. I can think of a real life scenario. Maybe somebody broke into your home or you run into somebody trying to mug you on the street and they pull out a knife. All of a sudden, you and this person are locked into a staring contest of epic proportions. You know whatever he about to do could mess you up and now you gotta think, what will be my next move? I dread, absolutely dread being in those sort of situations. Not to say that I've ever actually been in one, I'm just saying I never want to be in one. <laughs> so Emily Blunt's character, Evelyn, literally just went through excruciating pain to bring this child into the world. You just gave birth, your insides is all messed up. And there your baby was, floating around like Moses in the Nile. And one of those creatures decided to take a dip in your basement water. Needed something to drink before digesting his next meal. The mommy and baby combo. Uh, with a side of barbecue sauce, please. This has to be the unluckiest family there ever was in a time of crisis. Your boy was at the edge of his seat. I really thought this baby was about to die. I mean, the environment is working against you while also being hunted by a bloodthirsty creature. The odds of you surviving are zero 
to none. This scene was a well-crafted, impossible situation for the character to overcome, and it offered a nice payoff from what we learned earlier about hiding noises. Now this is the iconic shot that I think got everybody up to go see this in theaters. This woman is in distress, bleeding, possibly giving birth, trying to stay quiet while monsters roam her home looking for her. When she inadvertently erected that nail, everybody in the theater knew that was going to come back and mess her up. And by the way, yes, I did say erected. I thought it was a appropriate word to use. I mean, get your mind at the gutter, man. When she impaled her foot on the nail, she was all like, <laughs> but in my head, I'm thinking, <laughs> it was a relief that her son was able to fire off the rocket and distract the monsters just in time for her to release this. character was the most vulnerable all by herself and trying not to get killed it was a harrowing sequence and i think after it was over i took a sigh of relief before getting back to crap in my pants yo i've got more content you can check out right now and if there's a movie you would like to see me do a scenes ranking video on please feel free to leave it in the comments below hey and the next film you watch I hope it encourages, inspires, and entertains. Thanks for watching.